Israeli forces continue to bomb the Gaza Strip, targeting hundreds of locations in the past 24 hours. Hundreds of Palestinians have been killed in the bombings, including more than 1,500 children, 1,000 women, and over 100 elderly citizens. According to the UN, around 1 million displaced Palestinians are in urgent need of aid that is currently unable to reach them. 30 members of the same family were killed in an attack on a house in Gaza. Outside of Gaza, more than 70 Palestinians have been killed in the West Bank. 4,500 residential buildings and 12,000 houses have been destroyed in bombings. Meanwhile, Hezbollah attacked three Israeli military bases, destroying tanks and surveillance equipment. On October 19th, Israel released footage of strikes on targets linked to Hezbollah and Hamas, citing the reason as a response to Hezbollah's shooting attacks. The Israeli Defense Forces also continued strikes on buildings associated with Hamas. Currently, Israel's death toll stands at approximately 1,400, while the Palestinian death toll has crossed 4,000. British Prime Minister Rishi Sonak announced his support for Israel in a meeting with Prime Minister Netanyahu and said that aid will be delivered to the region. Russia has announced that it will send 27 tons of aid to the citizens of Gaza, while the Scottish government has pledged to send $606,000 in aid. Chinese President Xi Jinping met the Prime Minister of Egypt, where they agreed to work together for stability in the Middle East. Turkish President Tayyip Erdogan stated that Israel is doing nothing but adding fuel to the West's fire on the issue of Palestine. Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman said in a telephone conversation with the Prime Minister of Japan that military operations must be stopped for the peace of the region. President Joe Biden said that Palestinian resistance group Hamas had to learn how to shoot straight following the Gaza hospital explosion, which he attributes to a misfire by Hamas. The University of London has suspended hundreds of students for conducting a rally for Gaza on campus. Rallies were also held in Germany, Algeria, Chile, Indonesia and various other countries in support of Palestinians. On the other hand, hundreds gathered in protest in New York for the release of Israeli hostages taken by Hamas. Meanwhile, in Hollywood, George Clooney and other top Hollywood stars have proposed giving $150 million to the SAG-AFTRA Actors Union to end their nearly 100-day strike. This offer, confirmed by Clooney's spokesperson, would be spread over three years and could support better health benefits and help lower-paid actors. The strike, now entering its 100th day, has disrupted film and TV production. Hollywood writers resolved their strike earlier this month with a new three-year contract after 148 days of stoppage. In other news, Australia's celebrated structural wonder, the Sydney Opera House, turns 50 today.